Hi, Chris Barrows Brown here, and um, we are in the middle of September um, doing one year no beer um, with uh, some brilliant guys who have basically helped us get alcohol free for the month to notice the impact that it's had on our energy. And um, I gotta say, it's been fantastic. But I have um, spent some of my life alcohol free before, and what I've noticed is that actually it's very easy to do it when it's a challenge. So I can uh, give up for 70 days, which I've done this time. Um, 30 days is quite common. And you know, there's a bit of, bit of energy behind it because actually it's something to get your teeth into, something to achieve. And um, what I often find is when I come to the end of that, I feel like, oh, so what, you know, um, what happens now? And it's very easy to go back to old habits because it has been achieved. The goal has been, has been nailed and, then it's kind of like, well, you know, life just carries on as normal. So um, I asked Andy from One Year No Beer, who is a super guy and an expert on how to keep free of the booze, um, what to do. And he said there are three things to do. First of all, um, just write down what it is that you have got from not drinking. So for me, it's very straightforward. I've got more energy, I've got more health, I get up better. Um, interestingly, um, my wife was really worried because she thought I'd be incredibly boring. And actually she said that I talk more. I talk more, I am more present and more connected with her. So actually my relationships have deepened. And um, I would say I'm just way more consistent in life and therefore that gives me confidence. So those are all the positives. Um, not, not least, I've lost a fair bit of body fat. Feeling good. Um, well, what do I miss? I really do miss um, some of the social elements. So most of my mates love their food. A lot of them are chefs. And, um, and I miss uh, going out and socialising with them. Um, Sunday lunch, uh, roast lamb without a clara is still a bit arduous. But that's about it, to be honest. A lot of it is associations with good living and good times and celebrating a bit of life. <clears throat> um, if I were then to think about, okay, so. If I was to drink again, what would I lose? I think I'd lose quite a lot, actually. I would lose um, this great sense of well-being, this solid purpose, this um, absolutely clearly defined, this is who I am today, and this is as good as it gets, and I've got nothing to worry about. Um, it's, it's something I'd really miss. I'd, I'd miss the health aspects. There's all sorts of things if I start drinking again that would be painful. Um, and I feel a bit like a loser, actually. I know that's a bit harsh, but I feel like I've achieved something, so I don't want to go back to that. Um, and then Andy said, is there anything that you can do to make sure the things that you miss, you don't miss even without alcohol? And what I've realized is actually socially, I don't need a glass of wine to enjoy dinner. I love my food still, and it is, something I still invest a lot of time and effort in. And I have spent a lot of time socializing in the last um, in the last couple of months without drinking. And you know what? I am way more interested in the people than I usually am. Um, I've noticed in the past that maybe it becomes a bit about me after a few glasses. Not so much now, it's a lot more about them. And therefore I think I'm engaging at a different level. So um, there you go, a little bit of reflection. <coughs> I'm definitely not going back to the booze. Not now. Um, I'm not saying forever, because I think there might be a time that I would like a glass of wine, and that's all cool. Um, but my life is way better without it, and um, I feel good. I feel as if I'm abundant with possibility, and it's been the most fantastic experiment. Um, so um, thanks to One Year No Beer, Andy Ramage, you are a star. Um, my encouragement would be just have a think about what you get from not drinking what you miss if you were, how you can overcome those without it, and what it would cost you if you went back to it. And then I think you'll find you'll be locked and loaded for many days to come. Get that energy right, get your extraordinary off.